We're heading to the Hyundai Ioniq 5 for the SkyTrack experience. Let's check it out. I'm here at the Hyundai Motor Group Innovation Center Singapore. And today, I'm here for an exclusive press tour before the official opening to the public next Friday on 1st December. Down here in the main lobby, we are greeted by three cars. The first one all the way to the end you will see is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. This is the first car to be assembled in Singapore in more than four decades since the former Ford factory closed. So over here, you'll see in the car plate, it says EV proudly made in Singapore. Next to me, we have a classic imported from South Korea. This is the Hyundai Pony, one of the first mass produced cars in Korea. And you can see that they share a little bit of the design philosophy, a bit of the sharper angles. To your other side, you see Hyundai's newest launch, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 sedan. And I hope to test drive this and share a review with you. Today in this video, I'm going to give you a full tour of the Hyundai Innovation Center here in Singapore, all five levels of it. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EVs. We want to innovate the entire manufacturing process and we want to make it highly modular, flexible and customizable. So we have come up with an entirely new approach. It's called the cell-based production system. And essentially what you see here, these little over-shaped like cells, they are all highly customizable. We can transform them to fit whatever uh, production requirements we require. So this one actually works in our factory as well. It's main room and dock and it's like quality text. Now we speak it with cameras on his head and on his torso as well. So it is able to identify parts that perhaps are not fitted properly or missing and send the data over to the command center. And then the technicians will take care of the problems. So SWAT is also being piloted by Lisa today. Oh. 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 So no, mother of spawn. Mother of spawn. <laughs> okay, let's follow. Yeah, okay, so let's just follow spawn into our first experience zone, the vehicle collection ceremony. Shall we proceed to the doors? <laughs> really cool. We get a guided tour by spot. The robot dog. We're here at the vehicle collection room, so you'll see the Hyundai Ioniq 5s roll out from our left. Now right here at the vehicle collection area is where customers will be able to witness the entire process from custom vehicle production all the way to delivery. Now, can I bring your attention to the doors on your left where the Ioniq 5 will emerge from? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ionic Lounge. And this area is where you can customize your very own versions of the Ionic 5 with our configurators. We have four configurators located in the Ionic Lounge, and you can customize your very own versions of the Ionic 5. Right here, on your right, you'll be able to see a merchandise filled with the Ionic 5 merchandise. And if anything catches your eye, you can scan the QR codes, and it will lead you to our online store. And right here, we showcase the materials used in the Ionic 5, such as biopaint, eco-friendly leather, as well as eco-friendly fabric. The Ionic 5 promotes a greener lifestyle and elevates awareness for sustainability. Let's take a closer look at the area where it's used for the test drive participants. Ladies and gentlemen, right this way. So right here is a test drive waiting area and the merchandise here is segmented into four different sections. We have the Restyle Collection, we have the Hyundai Collection, the Hyundai Pony Heritage Collection, as well as the Small Farm Collection. You can take a closer look before we move on to the next location. This Hyundai Pony behind us is South Korea's first large-scale production car. It's kind of like the US Model T made by Ford a century ago. So, in line with Hyundai Motor Group's vision, Progress for Humanity, Hyundai aims not to only produce excellent vehicles, 
but also create innovative and sustainable solutions for the benefit of the wider society. Hence, allow me to introduce to you one of the solutions, our smart farm, right this way. So right before you is our five meter tall smart farm that's fully operated with the five robotic arms located inside the smart farm. You may be wondering why is there a smart farm in a car factory? So the smart farm emerged as a response towards concerns regarding sustainability in the modern era. Hence, Hyundai Motor Group has partnered with Arkison to develop the smart farm. And amongst its layouts, we have the seeding zone, growing zone, as well as the harvesting zone. We'll begin the journey today at the seeding zone, right this way. Right here at the seeding zone, visitors will be able to actively participate in the seeding process. They can select one out of four types of crops, which is the romaine lettuce and crystal green lettuce, as well as the Swiss chard and mustard. Upon selection, the robotic arms will begin the seeding process. We have 400 of seeds planted daily, which will go through three days of germination and 14 days in the nursery. On the right, on the first tier, you'll be able to see the crystal green lettuce, and on the upper tier is the romaine lettuce. And these plants are approximately four to six weeks old, almost fully ready to be harvested. Here, you'll get a better view of our vertical type smart farm, where the crops are grown on these vertical towers, hung on a conveyor system that is fully automated. And through automation, water, light, and nutrients are provided to the crops at an optimal level. And right here in the growing zone, we also have interactive zones for customers to explore. We've provided the nine seeds of the nine crops that are grown here in our smart farm, as well as the miniature robotic arms that automates our smart farm. There are a total of seven robotic arms that fully automates our smart farm. Two located on the third floor and five located on the first floor. If you come closer, on your right, you'll be able to see the mega robot. And its primary function is to move the growing towers from zone to zone, from the transplanting zone to the growing zone, and finally, to the harvesting zone. We shall now have and actively participate in their harvesting program. What's really cool about this place is you don't see cars being assembled, you don't see robots, you see a lot of green. And these plants here, you'll see later, goes up to a three Michelin star restaurant where you can enjoy a nice Ladies meal. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we proceed to the harvesting program that we've prepared for you? This is where our visitors can personally harvest and package a crop of their choice. We harvest approximately 250 crops on a daily basis and any excess will be donated to the local communities. Shall we head in for the harvesting program right this way? I can say what I think, John. So this table is for 10 people and that one is for 10 people. Okay. Over here we have crystal green lettuce and on that table we have mustard and water. Yes. So you can pick which one you would like to harvest for today. <laughs> Very cool. This is our meal. Below here, you can see many things for wrapping crops. Okay. So, so what should we do? Um, you pick the gloves. Okay. And they are the gloves. Yeah. First. Yes. All right. Run to the One person. Two yeah. Wow. Very deep. It is yeah. very deep. Put your finger deep, deeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my bad. It's, uh, it's very well rooted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Almost, almost. Yeah. almost. Yeah. Okay, you go ahead. Oh. Oh. There you go. Wow. <laughs> so this one you can wrap by yourself. Like, oh. You okay. can do it here. Yeah. Wrap it. You mean just just. <laughs> just uh, wrap. But you can eat it now. This is also edible. Or do you need to wash um, it first? Have to and... wash. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay. Third, so you can you can bring home this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to bring home. I, yeah. Yeah. Would somebody else like to tap out the? Yeah. <laughs> out. yeah. And then the string and tape here to make it look look nice, I guess. After you successfully pull out your plants, you done tied up. What you're doing right here? 
and you put it in a bag, draw your own decals. And you can cook it. These are mustard plants, so like the, the mustard sauce you're trying, like this. They harvest the mustard seeds to make the sauce. <laughs> so you can see everyone behind having a fun time doing this. And through our smart energy management system, we've achieved 30% in energy savings and got the highest platinum rating by the building and construction authorities of Singapore, equivalent to the iconic Marina Bay Sands. So over here, it's not just that the cars are green, the building is green as well. So shall we take the escalator up to the third floor? Please mind your steps. So right here, we'll get a better view of the smart farm, as well as the seating zone, growing zone, the mega robot, and our slogan, from root to route, where HMJX is a route that will create new pathways into the future. Yeah. Yeah. Here, at the level three smart farm is quite different than the one you've seen on the first floor. It uses a tree stacking system that allows to house nine different crops. The crops here are used to, for a tasting lounge program as well as the Korean f and that will be opening in April 2024. The restaurant will be in collaboration with Chef Corey Lee, the first Korean American to receive a three Michelin star for his restaurant Benu in San Francisco. I know just by seeing and harvesting earlier may not be enough, so we've prepared a program that allows you to taste the freshly harvested crops that we have here at HMJX. Shall we? I know some of us actually tasted the crops at the harvesting zone earlier, so, but this is a proper program where you get to taste the crops. Right this way. Hi, welcome to the tasting lounge. You can actually try the crops from the smart farm itself. Nice plan. So we prefer to try five different crops today. Okay, I'm going to be shameless and use my hands. <laughs> so on this end is something that you're used to, which is the lettuce. And then we also have the romaine lettuce. Now normally, when we are actually eating the vegetables, you don't get to try the natural flavor. So here you can actually try this. Let's try. How's the lettuce? Fresh. Very fresh, right? You have that uh, bitter and then a sweetness taste as well. And if I can introduce you to three of which are over here, it's much more interesting. Yes, yeah, you have the ice plant, the sorrel, and the mustard. You can try the ice plant first. Ice plant. Normally get to see. Do you see the crystals over here? Yes. Yeah. So this is not our uh, frozen water. It's actually the bladder cells of the plant. So let me try. And let's bladder cells. Ice plant. Wow, salty. Yes, that's right. So even though it's salty, um, ice plant is actually good for lowering high blood pressure. Mm. And the high moisture content is good for skincare as well. Mm. So it has a salty taste. And then the next one over here, we have is the sorrel. You can try the sorrel. Wow. Sorrel. Okay, and this answer, I'm going to put a word to it, grip skin. Mm. Does it remind you of grape skin? Yes. That's right. So you have a salt, uh, salty taste. So normally in Asian cuisine, we use lemons. For example, even in uh, Thai cuisine, in Tokyo, we have the lemon aspect, right? Soro is used for Western cuisine to cut the creaminess. It's really nice. And lastly, this is the mustard. So if you like something spicy, this has an intense flavor. You can try it. So this is what we plucked earlier downstairs. Mustard. Mm. So the mustard actually has like a wasabi feeling to it. And for those of us who actually like the mustard sauce on the hot dogs that we use to pour it, the yellow sauce, this is actually the plant from the mustard. The seeds will be used with other spices to create a mustard sauce. It's true, it really tastes like wasabi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Factory VO Tour will give you a glimpse into our smart factory. And towards the end, we will actually be unveiling the real smart factory. And I would like to say that no photographies and videographies are allowed during that period of time. So shall we enter? It's pretty dim inside, so please mind your steps. So we're going for the VR factory tour. We can't show you the real factory, but you may have seen some photos in the official press releases. Right this way. Good morning, welcome. Thank you. Wow. It's really cool. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Factory VR Tour program. You may now don your VR goggles. I'll see you after this tour. Please 
With your hands, I will boom you to come to assist you. Now we're heading up to level 5, the rooftop, to see the sky track, where we'll take 5 laps on the Hyundai Ioniq 5, up to 80 kilometers per hour. That's how they test the cars. That's how we have fun. We can take uh, both elevators. And from here, you'll be able to see the Ioniq 5 robo taxi. And it's zero drivers and zero emissions. And it's actually currently, um, currently in use in Las Vegas. So it's manufactured right here in HMGX and will be exported to the United States. Now we'll be proceeding to the Skytrack Lounge. All of these are level four autonomy. There will still be a driver in Vegas when you see this. So any of you, Nevada, come check this out. These again are assembled in Singapore, shipped all the way to the US. Pretty cool. <laughs> Above us, it's like an airport lounge. You can see your name, then you're ready for departure. So we'll wait for our turn and looking forward to experiencing the Skytrack. You see the Hyundai Ionic 5 right behind us. And behind is where they're doing their Riders briefing. It's our turn. You can see the name above. So let's head in and get the driver's briefing before we go to Skytrack. Before we start the program, I would like to introduce you an introductory video that will tell you more details about the Skytrack. Yeah. We're here at the Skytrack. Behind, you see three car lifts where the cars are lifted up to come test out over here. And now the test drive cars are coming back down. It's our turn next to experience the Hyundai Ioniq 5 at the Skytrack. Looking forward to it. We're heading to the Hyundai Ioniq 5 for the Skytrack experience. Let's check it out. Exciting. How many laps are we going to take today? Uh, five. A total of five laps. In the future, when this opens to public, you do have to book a slot. You can't just walk in to get a drive. There will be more slots on weekend, up to 16 slots. I think it's going to be quite popular. Now we can see we're going through the suspension test with all these humps. Pretty solid. Our speed on the side was 65. So isn't that generic? Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> we'll be going a little bit faster. Nice. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one lap, four more to go. It's crazy fun. We've just ended a really fun Skytrack experience in the rooftop, the Hyundai Innovation Center. And right behind me is their cafeteria, level five, where they serve authentic Korean food. So behind you queue, they got to get drinks, the baristas here as well. And I just want to thank the Hyundai Singapore team for this amazing experience, allowing me to experience a tour and to see the innovation that's happening behind the scenes. And here you can see, this is our meal. Of course, it's Korean fried chicken, rice, soup, kimchi. I'm going to dig in. This ends our tour video today. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EVs.